Sup guys, it's Stan Kosh and today in ISEPS I'm doing something, well not special, but really good guide for going through the singularities and uh, simulation resets as well. So basically this guide will optimize your progression, it will be useful for the new players and for progressing players as well, because there are little things that you can do that will optimize your uh, gains up to 20% in the end and that might be the thing that you are lacking for the next singularity. So first things first, when you are ready to do singularity, you want to check if you will need to do the reset after that for your perks. So you go to this uh, ISEPS perk guide that you can find in the tools and the links down there below on my website. And basically you pick your next singularity. So right now we are going to singularity 17 and in that one we have to do the respec and drop some perks and get some new perks. So you gotta keep it in mind and next time when you will do the singularity, you can do the reset in order to not go through the singularity just to figure out that you want, you need to do that reset in the end. You can watch my last video about that, how the one of the tools showed me that I need 100 years to go to the next singularity. We can't have that much time for that. So yeah, you check this thing when you do the singularity. Next one, make sure that you have about 10% extra singularity cubes before the reset that you farmed up enough so you can dump them later. This is only valuable for players from singularity let's say 10 and 4th. Before that you would like to do the reset as soon as possible because uh, they don't um, help you out that much early on so it's better to do the singularity reset as soon as possible if the gains are slow or if you are early on in the singularities, then you would like to visit the G Corp. Usually before singularity you have the most amount of G points, so you check the model collection if you can do something here, then you go to the companions and uh, you try to find the guys who will reach level 50. That will save them through the singularity. Same for the resets. When you're doing the reset, not singularity, but the normal reset, you would like to make sure that you get your guys to level 25. Right now we're talking about the singularity reset, not the mm, simulation. So uh, you would like to get as many of those guys to level 50 as possible. If some of those guys can't reach that, like this one, Particle Boy, really nice uh, upgrade, but we won't have enough G points, you don't go for that. You spend the rest of your points among the things that will survive. So the latest updates, the latest um, unlocked things, the lowest level ones, they will give you more gains per level. So you would like to start with something like this uh, orange dude over here and then you go back uh, and then you get like this one is really good if, if you have enough, if not then you move back and so on. So you would like to spend all that in order to be able to use those resources after the singularity. So right, I think we spent all of those, nice. Keep in mind that sometimes your extra G points might, part of them might carry over to your next singularity sometimes because of the bugs. So um, you might want to have some of those extras that will help you in the new singularity. Keep it in mind. Then you go to the singularity and do the singularity reset. Let's go. Beautiful guys, beautiful. This time I managed to wait so you guys can see it as well. So we go to the singularity perks and in our case we will do the reset. We can't do this. Oh man guys, we can't do this right now before we go into the new universe. Alright, so we will drop those guys. Let's let's get the random perk, doesn't matter. Can we do the reset right now? Yeah, we can do the respec. Let's go. <coughs> we do this. Bam. Another reset. I think we lost everything right now. And we can actually get the stuff that we need. I think we are done. Yeah, prison not ready. We got everything that we needed. And then we dump extras. We did the reset, so we dump everything. But yeah, that's basically 2.4 million extra percentage for energy price. Not bad. Not bad. Let's continue to the new universe. I'm pretty sure that we won't get any G points left. Do we? We have some! Nice! So, your first step will be getting as many guys to level 25 as possible because that will allow you, allow you, allow you to carry them over with you. Oh my god, we just barely made it for this fantastic guy over here and we won't have enough for this one for sure. Let's just get some of those so you can see that we will be stuck somewhere around, around 20. Should have done this one. That one will survive though. The purple guys they survive the simulation reset, so you get the purple if you can. 
And then you get extras, the ones that you need, uh, the one that you can afford. That doesn't matter because those guys, they will disappear after your first reset anyway. So what do you do after the reset? You try to unlock as many things as fast as possible, times 25, all that stuff, you know, unlocking things. So I'll go back to you when we will get to through few simulation resets. And I can tell you how to optimize your simulation resets after that. So guys, we did some resets, we got some progress and we are ready to continue. Now before the uh, simulation resets, let's go through that route right now. You want to go to the G Corp again and make sure that you spend all your G points and get everything that you can to level 25. But before spending the G points, you would like to go to the Corvus Finding Initiative and make sure that you purchase all those project that it uh, lower the prices of your companion so buy them as much as possible when you're done with that you try to buy as many um extractions as possible that will lower the cost for the upgrade here and that will allow you to actually buy them cheaper and level them more and the last thing to do before the simulation reset is to make sure that you spend all your available artifacts here buy everything that you can as you spend them on your data cube bonuses in order to get more data cubes after the reset so for now we can afford to get this one to level 25 it will be saved on the reset not sure about this one let's see i think we won't be able to it will be too expensive no we managed to so that one will stay this one we won't be able to afford this since it will be way more expensive than this one and the rest of those points that we have we would like to spend them on something that we might use. I recommend upping uh, Emperor Epsilon as much as possible for the DC bonus, upping Particle Boy for all particles and some other stuff that you might find useful. So yeah, uh, it's better to spread it more or less evenly for more bonuses, but overall just spend it and uh, make sure that you do it before the reset basically. So right, we've spent all the SP that we have, we're good. Then before pressing the reset button, we would like to go to the automation menu. And here we disable all that stuff at the bottom. So we leave the research on, but we turn off Egitarium. I actually do it manual all the time, so it's all, all turned off for me always, because automation isn't my thing for this one. For the beta laboratories and city of tomorrow, you turn those off as well why you will see in a second moreover you would like to go to settings to options and adjust those fast buy button and i would suggest turning all those off and leaving only ap up and everything else should be off uh this this one should be on okay so you would like to have all the buys out uh, disabled and dc trade disabled only ap trade to one you can leave this on and off it does matter that much at this point So why do we do this? Because when we will do the simulation reset, bam, we will have an issue. Here we will do the upgrades uh, and some of those will affect the things that we turned off. So for example, in the infinity upgrade, in the expansion, we might and we will upgrade the amount of hired uh, scientists and if the automation would be on, that stuff will be automatically applied, so it's better to be safe and, you know, do this stuff after the reset, turn it on after that. So now let's do the upgrade. I suggest focusing on the milestones first, because those are most important. Then moving on to Infinity Upgrades Ultima series and upgrading the highest tier as much as possible, because that will give you more overall gains of everything. Then when, when you invest it a little bit here, make sure that you upped your infinity multipliers as much as possible wow that's actually pretty good moreover in the infinity upgrades you want to make sure that you can or cannot buy corvus funding this one if you can afford this i actually screwed up here we could get one more bonus over here but it's okay this is very powerful for the stage i'm at and it's giving you a lot a lot of progression so yeah now let's do the rest of the upgrades evenly uh, we would like to invest in particle series as well to get the total infinity upgrades up and everything so we'll go back to the video when i'll be done here so all the upgrades are done everything we could start the new simulation make sure that you have this on 25 
and uh, all the auto things will be happening so you will be buying stuff first thing you want to do is to buy all the research so you will be getting more gains let's go those guys uh okay sweet you should be able like if you are at my stage buy those things as well a bit later then you can go back to automation again and turn on the automation of battle laboratory and uh, archive institute and phoenix institute if you have them here because those things now we can buy them without any you know any issues so we can buy all of those let's actually do this on the phone it will be faster get those upgrades of the phoenix institute after that go to the archive in initiative and buy everything here that will give you huge huge multiplier for your gains guys all right we're good so now what do you do depending if you have the milestone that will allow you to save uh, milestone 42 to save five percent of your artifact solutions and g points on the reset if you have that you would like to go to Egyptuarium, and here you would like to buy all the AP trades. You can buy it manually, but it's pretty hard. I would advise for you guys to go here, options, make sure that it's like that, that you buy only AP trades without buying anything else, and then go back here, bam, press, buy once, auto, and bam. You spend nothing, but you bought all the particles output things so that's how i do it that's most efficient way for me so we invested everything that we had carried over into the all particles output that will allow us to upgrade those things a little bit more those things a little bit more and get some more research done bam nice now from here we would like to uh, upgrade our corvus funding as much as possible get over here and get all those upgrades as well so Upgrading this to the maximum, invest in everything and buy everything that you can. All right, after you upgrade the Corvus funding, you can start working on the G points. You basically upgrade everything you can here, uh, get the small upgrades as well. There we go. And times one, buy everything here and enter. And since you have some carry over from the reset, if you do, you would like to buy things that you're missing. So, for example, for me, um, I would like to invest most in the Doctor Gamma for more Gamma output and this thing just for the sake of it being here. So, you know, try to balance it out as much as possible and get some more upgrades if it's possible here. Then you just wait. Moreover, most likely by this time you will be able to get Tiberium Emblems. You get those as well, as many as possible with all the upgrades that will boost the production of other resources. Sweet. And now your next step will be grinding a little bit in order to get the upgrades in the Corvus Finding Initiative to upgrade the project layers as high as possible. So in our case, with our gains, if we wait for, I don't know, a couple of minutes, we can get to stage 5 and that will up our artifact gains as well. Moreover, if you're early on, you might want to invest a little bit into the artifact amount, edge to area and upgrade in the G points, but for us it's not the case because it's already pretty high. So you can just wait a little bit or get the time skip up, that will allow you to get some more resources. And in our case, we need just a few more of those in order to get the project layers up. I'm usually waiting because I'm greedy, but in our case, since we're making a video, we can do this. And uh, basically that's what? Like half an hour. You wait about half an hour and uh, do we have enough now? There we go. After about half an hour, you can buy the next step in the project layers that will allow you to get way more artifacts on your um, artifacts purchase thing. So now you upgrade this as much as possible and uh, go for the artifact purchase. So, okay, now here it's a split way from here. Some people advise to balance out uh, data cubes and all particles here. Some people advise to go for two AP trade to one DC trade ratio. I suggest going the second route. I kind of use it most often. And uh, I don't like to balance it out too much. I just press auto here. I'm not, you know, min maxing it here. And from here, let's do some more of those. From here, I just press auto and we will have way more all particles output right now than data queues, but it's okay because later, before the reset, 
we will go and spend the extra artifacts we will get for the data cubes and it will kind of balance it out more. So right now you press times 25, fast buy, bam, look at the speed we are spending those. It will take forever for us to spend those few billions artifacts, but now we got them quite, quite fast. And look at the bonuses, guys. Now we're getting insane amount of resources here. We're getting really high amount of everything and you want to do some more upgrades right now. So at this point, I advise you guys to hang in here for a while, unless you will be ready to buy um, Project Listera upgrades, Project Pegasus, and if you can, Project Utopia. We will have enough uh, Corvus, Hellis Particles to buy Project Utopia in a while, but we can reach that because uh, it costs 36 SP and we managed to buy the SP upgrade for the Project Letters, so it's reachable, it's, it's better to wait for it and buy all that before moving on to City of Tomorrow upgrade because we got the carry over, 5% carry over that's giving us quite a good boost right now so we don't really need to buy any of it right now so we will wait and uh, look at that, we already have one SP so it will be pretty fast so yeah, for now just do some random upgrades of everything here and uh, co collect resources, get the upgrades, grow your income and wait until you will be able to buy those things. Uh, we'll go back when we'll have enough resources. So right guys, we managed to secure enough of helium particles in order to buy this upgrade and bam, after this, the Project Utopia gain solution acquired is increased by 2.5k percent and you will get way more. You might want to wait for the cost reduction again for another upgrade up here but uh, honestly guys uh, right now I don't want to do this because we will do another reset after that pretty soon so after that you point extra points into the extraction to get higher bonus so now it's even higher and uh, you can move on to City of Tomorrow upgrade so now you can buy all those things you can out uh, turn on the automation again so you go here no not talents game automation and the automate city of tomorrow bam that will allow you to get those upgrades right now and you will get way more of those solutions that you would normally have because of that bonus that's that's really important and that will help you to progress at the later stages when you have when you can do this guys you have to do this that's a must because that will give you about all those things together will give you about 20 to 30 percent extra gains and you can guess that it's enough to do the singularity reset so okay what you want to do now you want to enjoy your increased gain gain the data cubes gain the g points in order to upgrade stuff so now we have a really good gain uh 25 sp we can get some upgrades going and uh save up enough resources if you are going close to the next level and such so for now you just save up and wait before you will be able to go to some next milestone here so for data cube upgrades, you can go for the next milestone. If it's too far away and you feel that you're slowing out and your slow down is usually like your data cubes per minute uh, plus three kinda. So it's now we have E83 and I'll be stuck somewhere around E85, E86 depending on how much time I will let it run. So you can expect getting to if E85 or so. so if you can't reach the next milestone and you're stuck, you can go for infinity upgrades because you can get some ultimate upgrades here. Those are cheaper, right? You can get those, you can go to the expansion upgrades and get additional extraction done that will help you drastically to get more stuff. You can even get some more particles upgrades here that will allow you to get higher resources. So, you know, don't be afraid to do the reset. Uh, if your build-up phase isn't long, for me it took like including the timers we skipped, about two to three hours maybe five so it's about five to ten hours okay the maximum for the build up phase until you get here and you can do the reset because of that because after that your gains will be higher and you will gain more stuff and once again you are checking out singularity from time to time if you are like 90 percent in the device power you might want to wait and do the reset after that and uh, what to do before the reset you can refer to the guide again we spoke about that early on so that's how you play the game basically that's how you do the rounds that's how you optimize stuff for your progression
And guys, write your own thoughts about this in the video description and I hope this guide was useful for you. If it was, don't forget to like the video and important to subscribe to this channel and hit that uh, bell button so you won't miss any new ISOPS videos. Also, we have ISOPS playlist down there in the video description and uh, pin command with more guides on ISOPS. You might find something useful there for sure. And we have the text article on the website as well, so you might want to check it out. Moreover, there are a lot of useful tools and stuff over there, so check it out as well. Other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching. That's about it for now. Stand Kosh out. Have a good one. Bye.